What's up? Lex Warner playing AZ AZ seventy nine. We get the Spanish Four Knights, which is uh. Oh, what is this again? This is really not. Uh, ambitious or anything. I have a feeling something like Queen E7, but I don't really know. Maybe something like D5. I'm just gonna castle and then play D5. Maybe just down a pawn now. I don't know. I might be just wrong regarding this opening. Probably am. Um, it's okay. We've got the bishop here, so we have some compensation for the pawn. Uh, but yeah, this pawn is somewhat weak on d4, so we can maybe try and exploit that. If not, well, try and hang on to this pawn on c4. Maybe by bishop e6 and f6 or something like that. Queen f3 isn't really doing much. I think f6 is fine. Where's this knight going anyways? I can just take on d4 next. I really don't like his queen f3 move. Because I was mentioning I was wanting to play... I, w I wanted to play this f6, so... If knight d3, I can take on d4, threaten bishop g4. Yeah. I don't really see what he is supposed to do here. If bishop d2, I'm just gonna play queen takes d4, I guess. Not still. So, if bishop d6, then bishop g4, yeah. Now he plays his rook e4. It might have been better to play that one move earlier. Bishop f5, and then I can move my other bishop. So now, instead of being down a pawn, we're up a pawn. So that's good. We're up two pawns. I'm just gonna snatch it if he just keeps on giving me pawns. He's blowing up his kingside as well. Yeah, this should be an easy win, I hope. Mm, queen b1. He still holds with uh, 91. That's why I didn't do it one move earlier. But it's always nice to put it on d1. I'm threatening to get my rook inside there, but... Well, I should just trade pieces now and uh, be two pawns up and easily win this, but... I like this move here. All my pieces are working together brilliantly, whereas his are not really working together at all. If you look at this this rook here and this knight, this bishop on g3 isn't doing anything as well. Uh, he has to play something like queen c2 or queen d3 now, which I'm just gonna take. He has to play queen c2, because if queen d3, queen takes, knight takes, and then bishop c4. But yeah, he resigns. Let's have a look. Because I'm somewhat interested. Um, yeah, this is pretty boring actually, this opening. Um, you can play bishop b4. Which is even more boring. Is my opponent saying something? I don't know. Um, but knight e4 is uh, much more ambitious, uh, I think at least, because you have some nice variations. If if he, for instance, goes to c4, then bishop c5 is uh, somewhat fun. This line. So if knight f3, then d5. And if knight takes f7, then just rook f8. It is pretty fun. But he took there, and 
Yeah. I think what I did was wrong. Queen e7 seems normal. Or take on b5, take c6, and then queen e7. But I think that's that's a way. To, that's a that's a position where I always uh, mix stuff up. So, for instance, I think queen e7 here isn't as good because it feels like there is something. If knight takes e4, then castle, and then rook e1 is always coming. I think I remember this, and this is horrible for for black. For instance, if we take here. And then d5, trying to get our bishop on e6. Bishop g5 or rook e1. And then bishop f4. And this is just, it's its a very ugly disposition. The engine agrees it's plus one. Uh, it's just not much fun. So probably I shouldn't take and play queen e7 here. And if he goes back now to f3. Then I can take there and play queen takes. This is a major difference. Queen e2 takes takes and then knight d5. Wow. Yeah, I can't really say I know this line. Very good. So c4, c6, I guess. a6. So same difference. Yeah, fair enough. For the next time, queen e7, f4. Knight takes e4 maybe. Takes and then take there. D6 is coming. Castle. Yeah, D6, knight f3. Yeah, I don't like this at all either. Because here rook e1 is still coming and. Well, still. It's again. In the air. Push g4, rook e1, and then castle is fine, I guess. I don't know. I should look into that. Because now. I think I had this in a normal game once where I played it like this. That's why I somewhat remembered it, but I'm just a pawn down. Uh, we have some minor compensation form of uh, bishop pair and some pressure against d4, but yeah, it's not much. But this queen f3 helps us a lot. Uh, he shouldn't do that. He should just play something like bishop e3. Just try and stay solid. Still f6 is coming, knight f3, or knight d3. You have knight f3, bishop e6 probably. Knight d3 also probably, bishop e6. Attacking this pawn, b3, um, bishop f7 or something. I don't know. This feels like white is doing somewhat better. But queen f3 just helps us a lot, since f6 is just a very good move. Knight d3 takes. Yeah, and I thought he had to do that, and I was planning just to go back to d8, and then something like queen d, no, bishop d2, and then bishop f8, and try and exchange those rooks. But I think white is still a tad better. Uh, we have some long-term advantages, the our bishops, but he has some short-term, like he has some, uh, he has more act uh, activity. But he has also one weakness on the C C4 pawn is somewhat weakened, so maybe it's just balanced. I don't know. Feels okay for black at least. Um, Bishop F4. Yeah, I just took the pawn. Now Rook E4. And this Bishop F5 is a good move to have, since if I don't have that. Oh, I can still go bishop d7 even. Because queen e3, then I can go bishop f8 still. Yeah, I like my bishop f5 more though. And that's two pawns. And now it's just over, I guess. Queen b1 check, rook d8. Queen d1, which is a nice move. E1, yeah. Oh, rook e8 wins immediately. I like my bishop c5 though. And he resigned here. If he were, were to go to d3, I was gonna take and play bishop c4. Still has rook c2, evidently. But this is just an easy win as well. We're just up two pawns. Um, 
So I thought he had to go to C2, and I was just going to take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll play this on. Uh, I understand why he wants to resign, since he has to uh, exchange queens now, and... Yeah. That somewhat lessens the chance that he can... Uh, well, there are, there are less tricks then, so... Yeah, I like my game. It's a pretty fun game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed as well. And see you guys next time. Bye now.